Hi everybody. Today we're going to talk about birds at group time. And first I'm going to read you a little book about chickens because our chickens just hatched and it's fun to watch them eat. And I hope you've been looking at Janelle's videos. This is called The Chicken Book. Said the first little chicken with a queer little squirm, I wish I could find a little fat worm. Said the second little chicken with an odd little shrug, I wish I could find a little fat bug. Said the third little chicken with a sharp little squeal, I wish I could find some nice yellow meal. Said the fourth little chicken with a small sigh of grief, I wish I could find a little green leaf. Said the fifth little chicken with a faint little moan, I wish I could find a wee gravel stone. Now see here, said the mother from the green garden patch. If you want any breakfast, just come here and scratch. She's teaching them how to eat. And that's the chicken book. The next book I'm gonna read is about building a house for a wren. It looks like somebody has measured and put a house plan together and they're going to build it. So let's see what it takes to build a house for a bird. This one's called a wren. I know that's Rex's little sister's name. It's a beautiful name and a beautiful bird. Here is the house I build for the wren. Here is the toolbox with all the stuff for the house I'll build for the wrens. Here are the boards just big enough I found near the toolbox with all the stuff for the house I'll build for the wrens. Here is the rule with joints that bend that measured the boards just big enough I found near the toolbox with all the stuff for the house I'll build for the wrens. Here is the hammer with a claw on the end, besides the rule with joints that bend, that measured the boards just big enough, I found near the toolbox with all the stuff for the house I'll build for the wrens. Here are the nails, I'll need quite a lot, next to the sandpaper for smoothing the knot, under the hammer with a claw on the end, besides the rule with joints that bend, that measure the boards just big enough, I found near the toolbox with all the stuff for the house I'll build for the wrens. Here is the level with a bubble inside. Along with the nails, I'll need quite a lot. Next to the sandpaper for smoothing the knot. Under the hammer with a claw on the end. Besides the rule with joints that bend, that measured the boards just big enough, I found near the toolbox with all the stuff for the house I'll build for the wrens. Here is the brush two inches wide I found by the level with a bubble inside. Along with the nails I'll need quite a lot. Next to the sandpaper for smoothing the knot. Under the hammer with a claw on the end. Besides the rule with joints that bend that measured the boards just big enough I found near the toolbox with all of the stuff for the house I'll build for the wrens. Here is the paint, a nice shade of blue. I'll spread on with the paintbrush two inches wide. I found by the level with a bubble inside. Along with the nails, I'll need a lot. Next to the sandpaper for smoothing the knot. Under the hammer with the claw on the end. Besides the rule with joints that bend, that measured the boards just big enough, I found near the toolbox with all of the stuff for the house I'll build for the wrens. Here is the screwdriver with a flat blade to open the paint with a nice blue shade. I'll spread with the paintbrushes two inches wide. I found by the 
level with a bubble inside, along with the nails, I'll need quite a lot, next to the sandpaper for smoothing the knot, under the hammer with a claw on the end, beside the rule with joints that bend, that measured the boards just big enough, I found near the toolbox with all the stuff, for the house I'll build for the wrens. Here is my mother who stood by the door. She looked at her toolbox and on the floor. I put back the hammer, sandpaper and glue, white paint from the level, screwdriver and stool. Then I washed the brush and picked up each nail. I put the lid back on the pale blue paint pail. A job well done, mother said with pride. Let's take your creation and hand, hang it outside. You've built a fine house for the wrens. That is called the house I'll build for the wrens. The next one I'm going to read is about bird nests because right after this, I'm going to dissect a bird nest. And I believe it's the bird nest that Ellie gave me earlier in the year. And I've been waiting for springtime to dissect it. So I'll let you watch what I do so you can do one if you find another nest. Bird nests. High in the sky, up in the trees. There are all kinds of birds. Here they come now. There's owls, hummingbirds, woodpecker, a gull, a flycatcher, and a mallard. We used to see mallards at Pasona, remember? High in the branches, up in the trees, indigo bunting, white thrush sparrow, and a chickadee. They build their nests, they build their homes. High near a rooftop, look up and see. A bird makes a nest from mud and straw. This bird does from mud and straw. Remember that. Down in the reeds, look and see. This bird makes a nest that hangs from a tree. It's an Oriole. It hangs down like that. I see some of those at my house sometimes. Why do birds, birds build nests? What are they for? Do you see this big best nest up here? That looks like it has lots of sticks. That's a bald eagle nest. That's huge. Almost as big as your bathtub. Nests keep eggs safe. They help keep eggs warm. Now the eggs hatch and the babies are born. High in the sky, up in the trees. Soon the babies learn to fly. Can they do it? Yes, they will. Look up and see. That's a very exciting time for birds. Well, now I'm going to do an, an experiment with a nest. And I think it's the one Ellie gave me. I'm going to put my book down. I'm going to move my camera so you can see what I'm doing. It'll take a minute to do that. All right, let me see if I can turn it around.